Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm about 30 or 40 minutes east drive of Portland City. Uh, so if you are planning to come here uh, to Portland for the weekend to travel and you want to rent a car, it's going to probably take you about 30 minutes to drive out here. Uh, it's a beautiful drive on the Columbia River as well. And there's definitely places along the river to check out uh, and to get some uh, beautiful photographs. But uh, yeah, I'm here to see Multnomah Falls, which is supposed to be uh, America's highest falling waterfall. Um, now, I did do a video about this before on my channel, probably about two or three years ago with my dog. But the main focus was, uh, was just Mackie. Uh, and it probably wasn't my best work at the time, but it's it's still on the channel if you want to go and check it out and uh, Unfortunately, he's not with me today because uh, he's getting very old. He's 16 now And uh, I don't think his back legs would handle hiking up the top here because this time uh, What I like to do is, is go and check out the falls and hike to the very top because there's supposed to be some beautiful um, views from up there uh, The last thing I want to share with you before we go is uh, uh, parking here is free but uh, if you are coming between September, or sorry, coming come here between May and September, uh, you will need to purchase a permit. Uh, permits are, uh, you can apply online and uh, I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's only $2, but um, um, what that does, it guarantees you that when you get here, that you will be able to find a parking space uh, and you'll have ample time to use the restaurants, the facilities, uh, the gift shop and uh, get that beautiful Instagram photograph that you want because you don't want to come here and it's going to be too overcrowded. So um, when you do book a permit, it's uh, hourly and they only, they only, I think they limit maybe 40 people or so per hour, but uh, I still think that's a good thing. But it's something to think about if you're coming here for a weekend uh, to visit is that you will need to book ahead. All right, with that being said, let's go and check out Monoma Falls. Um, so there is one thing I forgot to mention, although it might be obvious, is that you are actually allowed to bring your dog on the trail with you to Mount Norma Falls, but as long as you keep it on a leash, then you're, you're good to go. Oh, this is the bridge. Now, if you uh, don't like heights, I might not recommend coming here for this. Uh, it might make your legs a bit soft walking across this bridge. <laughs> All right guys, well that's the uh, touristy photographic portion of my video done. Uh, most people stop here, but I'm gonna keep going now and uh, we're gonna try and get to the top and uh, see what's up here. You know, last time I came here, I did actually come to look at the waterfalls, but that's where it stopped. Now, it is still impressive to come and see this waterfall, but I definitely recommend if you've got the energy is to hike up further to some of the views here. And it's a beautiful day today. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. And uh, yeah, the Columbia River, the gorge, everything. It's just amazing. So uh, yeah, I'm loving this so far. Now I'm sure 
One of the questions you're probably gonna wanna ask me is, do you have to be super fit to hike up to the top here? Uh, I would say relatively fit. I wouldn't say you have to be a gym rat, but uh, also you should be doing some exercise probably three or four times a week, I think, to, I mean, I'm out of breath now a little bit, but just take it steady, easy pace, enjoy the views as you're going up, and it's pretty well paved. Um, so, you know, if you kind of have moderate fitness, then I think you'll be okay with this. Ah, oh, make sure you bring water with you. I definitely needed this. Oh, all right, a little more way to go. Let's go, come on. All right guys, I think I'm nearly there. I can hear the, the water, top of the, uh, the waterfall. And uh, the lady that I just passed said it's not far and you can put your face in the water and wash yourself, which is great because I'm sweating like a pregnant nun right now. Oh, what a beautiful view. This is well worth it. It's totally amazing. All right. Let's see how my legs do looking over at the edge of this uh, this viewpoint here. Oh, oh my God. Mom, you wouldn't have liked this. Oh, your legs would have gone. Oh, but yeah, this is, this is pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm sweating buckets. But that was definitely worth it. Look at this view. Oh man, fantastic hike. Uh, only took me probably about 30 minutes to get up here, I think. And I took a few breaks in between to get drink. But look at this, absolutely fantastic view. Love it, brilliant. I'm almost back at the bottom now. But look at that, look what I achieved today. Hiked all the way to the top of that. Took about an hour, brilliant. All right, let's go and get a drink. Hey, can I get a cup of tea? Yeah, what Hot tea, tea. Uh, green tea? Green tea? With some, uh, medium with some honey, please. Thanks. Honey. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me today. Uh, got my cup of tea for the ride home. Uh, had a good time. As I said, I got here about 10 o'clock this morning and uh, it's now 12.30. So it's took me about two and a half hours to see the waterfalls and hike up, hike down, uh, get some refreshments, go to the toilet, etc., and go and see the gift shop. But uh, if you are coming, remember what I said at the beginning of this video, definitely plan ahead, get your permit so you're, you're, uh, <laughs> you don't miss out. Um, and that's it. So uh, thanks for liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye